preparing a drawing for a line and wash, I put a, I've got a sort of an estuary type of scene or a coastal scene, just some, some distance, of which won't be inked. We can, there's some hills in the back there. Um, with, with, a, with a beach and, and, and a tree to balance that side, I'm, I'm, I'm using black acrylic paint. I've got this, which is from my collection of acrylic paints that I normally use. I like using black in. The, uh, the acrylic paintings and oil paintings when I do them. Mars Black, Great Big Tube, Galleria, Windsor and Newton. It's, uh, there's a lot of uh, drawing in, in, in these things because they're packed with colour and they're quite fairly inexpensive. So I've got this little black lid here, so I'm just diluting some. So I'm just going to just put in a bit of a bit of an eye, a bit of a beach coming across here, and glasses, and I'll thicken this up as, as I go, go along. You can dilute it quite quickly and you can, like with all these lovely little flick ups with the grasses, what you put above, put below. And across here. Sort of a bit of land coming coming round. I've done this sort of view quite a few times now. But they're they're nice to do. Let's get this coming up here. We'll stretch this one right across here. I'll use a different rigger, that's a bit old. Try this one. So just hold on to I hold the brush like that because it's more spontaneous. Just marsh grass. And when this is dry, and you can dry it off of course, it's it being waterproof, it, it uh, won't shift when you put the wet wash, uh, wash over it. So I will just, uh, just get some grasses in here. Right, that's, that's the sort of start of it. I might do this in two parts, do the, the washing in the morning, in the morning. No, it's all good good fun. Well, let's just get some coming in across on this side here. Bit of June. Faint to start with, and then just build up when you're confident that the drawing's going somewhere. I won't put any ink work on the on the background because it, I want to also stay in the foreground where it had the most impact. I'll paint that in a sort of a burnt umber 
I've got, I've got two competing here, so I'll, I'll make one much more, much different. I'll try to. I to connect my bit. Bring them both together. I'm so economic doing this. The, the painting doesn't take very long at all. But this is where all the work is. So we can do something here. Not uh, too much, it's just, just catching the highest spots of the paper. Dark in there. Oh, a bit too dark. So I always put a bit of a bush in there. Turn your accidents into pluses. And so we, so we go, we sit a bit more solid in there. Okay. Okay, so... So there's something going on there. Let's, uh, let's connect that to the man down here. Okay, well I reckon we've got it's got, got about enough on there. Maybe just put a little boat. Make sure you keep your brushes very clean. I'll use a small Just a bit, bit of interest in the foreground. Okay, I, I reckoned that uh, uh, it's a dry brush across there. I'm just thinking out loud, but right, okay, I'm going to give that the dry. So, take your headphones off. Now, I'm going to be recording. Oops. 
eso, ¿no? Okay, this is all basic stuff. I only do basic stuff to give you plenty of ideas that you can use for your own enjoyment and practice. All right, that's a can be dry bit of rag. Always have a big wedge of paper of, of uh, cloth when you're doing wetting wet with a hake because you get a load of water and brush to trap the unwary. But I'm going to wet the paper all over. See, it's more or less perfectly dry. Okay, it's Fabriano, 130 pounds, and uh, the lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paint's grey, and burnt sienna. So a bit of a warm up with the sienna and the water. And a bit of alizarin, I think. Now we'll put in a blue, a bit blue, a bit of red, a bit of alizarin, and the clouds. A bit darker for the, for the top one. Right, okay. Now we'll put that in the water. Okay, a bit darker, I think, across here. Just to show the reflection in the, uh, the water. Now, as the paper expands, just stretch it. You don't need to stretch your paper. I'm painting on the back of one that's did this morning, which I videoed, but I don't think it's really good enough. So I'm painting on the back of it. I've got the video, I'll keep the video so just in case I get desperate. But, but it wasn't very good. Okay, so we'll put in the background of those colours. Uh, let's just now we're coming with some warmer colours, a bit more of that red. And makes a bit of paint's grey now, I think. So going out to, to water shore, I'm going to put in a bit of bit of sienna and a bit of both siennas I think. They're warm. All that across there. Just down to the horizon. I'm not going to, I don't really want to dry brush. I'll put the reflections in because it's broken. The water's broken, it's wind ruffled. So I've mentioned this before. With wide great expanses of water, the seldom <coughs> do you see them uh, reflecting. 
they will reflect the sky in, in the ripples when you come towards the shore but they will always be or almost always be wind ruffled <coughs> right now we'll put another painting of Bansiano and Ultra thick juicy paint When the paper is wet behind, the tendency is to, for this to dilute itself. And so put it in tube thickness. The way I've got my paints being kept lovely and moist in the, in the Ziploc bag, it gives you access to this lovely, thick, juicy, but I'm just going to just reinstate there. I might have to clean out the horizon which bled into the water below. So let's just get that in there. Just going out there. I'll, I can clean that up after. Right, let's just get in some. Sienna, just some ordinary sienna in there. Just go into nothing in there. Superimpose some yachts along there. Uh, it's very risky. some little bits of trees. Right, now we want to concentrate on this foreground, so a bit of burnt umber there, I think. That's always a good, good colour, but we have got some shadow behind those grasses here, so we'll put some, some in here. Paints grey, burnt sienna. Oh, I'll stay with blue. And we'll put some sort of warmth back on this tree here. Uh, a bit stronger than that, I think. I can, I can put some wild branches over that. Bit, bit heavy there, I think. So we'll just put in some sienna. Back there. And then some shadowy colour in here. Bit of green. Okay, so we've, we've got something going on there. Not a lot. Uh, a, bit of, a bit of texturing in the foreground now, a bit of colour. Using the rigger. Thick, 
reputable colour in this, this sea cabbagey type of stuff. Ooh, we're getting that. Okay, not much more I'm going to do with that. It's a very simple scene. What I am going to do is just to lift out some yachts on the other side there. So, dampen a, a stiff bristle brush, that's the acrylic brush, and just just lift out a little bit of a sail against the darker background. Now, I can do another one here. Okay, so that's a very simple painting. If I want to over elaborate, I would do it, do it uh, for myself. Oops. Right, I'll give that a signal to put it in the mouse and then we'll see what we've done. No, let's uh, use a bit of that black. Right, I was going to uh, put a bit of uh, stuff in here. A bit muddy that. But for, for a demonstration, you can't. Well, you have to make allowances for speed and, and thinking on the move. Okay, let's. Uh, if I put some. I'll see if I can connect that, that up, that one side with the other, with uh, some sandy. So sort of hard. Do I brush it on there? Probably ruined it. That's a bit more dry brush, I think, further on. Probably a couple of brush strokes too many, isn't it? Right, I'll put it in a mount and we'll have a, have a look at it. Right, let's have a mount. Because we've got quite a lot of browns and. Oh, well, there we are. We've, we've, it's, it's not too bad at all. I want to alter that horizon, I can't say it makes big horizontal, I think I've painted too far down. Well there we are, it's a nice warm, warm scene, that's supposed to be a bit of a beach there, that went wrong, I was best left alone there. But anyway, there we are, a simple painting, have a go yourselves, and give you confidence to, to do more things. Could be the Lake District. There could be any, any coastal scene, certainly in, uh, in the UK. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.